Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to this energy reading for the week of August 22nd to August 28th, 2022. This is a general reading, so feel free to take with you whatever resonates and leave behind for others whatever does not. Either way, I hope that this reading finds you in good spirits, feeling fabulous. To get more information about your week, be sure to check out each of your readings for your sun, moon, and rising signs. So here... Aquarius, in this first column, we explore the energy surrounding your love life. You have this soul connection card. You also have four of pentacles, page of wands, five of wands. In the second column, we look at the energy relating to your career and finances. You have this empowerment card. You have five of swords, six of swords, six of pentacles. And in this third column, we explore how you can enhance your inner light. You have this play card. You also have page of swords, the world, and king of swords. So Aquarius, it seems like the energy of soul connection is popping up in your love life, though it may not necessarily feel like it. With the Four of Pentacles here, it's a sense of really being concerned about your individual stability. Um, it may be in the sense of aligning your, your mind, body, heart, and spirit. It may be uh, in terms of your overall health, um, and it could be finances. With the five of wands here, there seems to be kind of conflict and confusion, some chaos kind of going on in your, your love life. With the Page of Wands here, there is a sense of a desire to kind of, uh, you know, step outside of your comfort zone, do something a little different, um, and, you know, there, there's excitement, but also a bit of hesitation um, for you to kind of explore a little bit. A, a little bit outside of what you're used to and to express yourself. Um, but it seems that in in doing so, being a little curious, um, you know, perhaps doing things outside of your normal routine, if you're in a relationship, then, you know, do something a little bit um, unusual, exciting. Um, and if you're always doing something exciting, do something a little, you know, mundane, um, playing Monopoly, playing, you know, uh, doing a puzzle, something like that. Uh, if you are single, then perhaps, you know, dating outside of the, uh, your type, uh, pool. Yeah outside of the pool of the people that you are, that are typically your type. In terms of your career and finances, having this card of empowerment as being the energy, um, it may not feel like it as well, um, at least for this week. You have the Six of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Both of those kind of need, uh, represent a uh, needing to ask for help, or being in a position where you have to rely on others uh, for help, or helping others as well. With the Five of Swords here, this is a sense of kind of um, <clears throat> winning at all costs, not really being 
concerned about the the consequences here. Um, so for for some of you, there is this empowerment comes from actually kind of swallowing your pride and asking for help. Uh, and for those who are actually in the position to help others, you know, being, um, you know, the person who cares about people, humanitarian, um, really going above and beyond, there is, there is empowerment and possibly recognizing that uh, you might be doing too much and enabling people to um, do things that are not for their best and highest good. But here, um, you know, being in a place where you are, you know, feeling balance and harmony with your uh, community, the people around you um, is a, a good way for you to tap into this empowerment. You know, regardless of, of what you're doing, people have to take responsibility for themselves. And if, um, you know, your generosity is um, kind of helping others to, you know, cut corners, um, that's, I guess, not for your concern. That's not you know, your responsibility unless you are kind of, you are aware of it and, you know, really uncomfortable with it, then, you know, it's, it's empowering to kind of um, walk away from that situation where, you know, the, you're not feeling good about it and uh, they are in a position of, you know, not not really learning what they need to do to kind of improve their situations. Um, with this play card, how you can enhance your inner light, uh, you have this page of swords. This is a card of like curiosity, um, you know, new ideas, uh, learning new things so uh, you can incorporate this into your um your love life so you know doing puzzles doing like uh like murder mystery boxes i forget what they're called uh to hunt a killer or something like that i've done a couple of them they're interesting they get really hard towards the end. You need someone who is who is uh, smart, like you, Aquarius, um, to kind of keep things going. Um, and with the world here, there's a sense of you have a lot of things to celebrate, um, a lot of accomplishments. And um, if you need to tie up some loose ends before you can celebrate and play, then go ahead and do that. With the King of Swords here, it's um, it's a sense of you really like to have things in a certain way. Um, you like to know things. You like to um, decide things, and this might be your your general nature for the most part, um, but. To some degree, this play card and embra enhancing, embracing your inner light um, is more about uh, feeling connected to yourself and to others um, and having this more objective, factual, analytical aspect. It's not, it's not a bad thing at all, but this play card is kind of indicating that you you got it when it comes to the intellect. Um, have have a little bit of of fun, why don't ya? And so, Aquarius, I am going to close off the reading by pulling an oracle card for a message from your higher self. 
you have embracing enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. And here's another card of just a sense of play, um, a sense of embracing in excitement, um, you know, things that might not initially that you don't have the answer to, that you just, you don't know what's going to happen. Um, and really embrace that sense of play and curiosity and, um, you know, see what there is out there in the world that you aren't familiar with and um, be amazed by it. So I'm hoping this reading provides a helpful perspective of your week and we'll see you next time. Take care.